when I was about 13 or 14, I actually uh, pestered the guy at the local aquarium shop and I hung around so much that eventually he gave me a job and put me to work. But I was there basically because I was so excited about the reef tanks or the salt water tanks. I was always amazed at how cool they were and and it just definitely inspired me to one day want to get out to the outer reef or the proper Great Barrier Reef at some point. I've actually never been to the outer reef before, so this was a perfect opportunity to get out there, take a bunch of mismatched Motley Crew lures that I've been sort of found on islands or been given. It was always going to be a challenge, but I figured it's just the perfect excuse to get out and see some of that real reef that I always dreamt about when I was a kid. Good start. definitely didn't disappoint. 
so much life, there's so much potential. I've been to lots of islands, but never such a huge expanse of so much reef to explore and just different parts of it. It's pretty amazing. I had to go a fair way up. Obviously with the little red boat comes uh, some issues in regards of range and safety. So the further up I went, uh, the closer the reef gets to the mainland. So we had to go a fair way up in the drive just to get close enough and make it all uh, a reasonable distance. Beautiful fish. Oh. Alright, bud. Get you back in. on the <laughs> You never know what you're going to get when it comes to the weather and I think on the first day even the weather changed probably four times. Went from light winds and a beautiful glassy morning to rain then back to fairly glassy just overcast and then back to wind as it picked up and then you could see a looming storm just hanging around. Don't do it, bro. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> it's not a fish. It's promising that you think it is, though. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that.
I'm just sitting up like this so the tent doesn't blow right over. <laughs> so we're just gonna ride it out. You wouldn't believe that today it was only, you know, like up to 20 k's. It must be blowing at least maybe 70 k's or something now. Gusts. Man, this trip has just been full of uh, accidents and surprises. And yeah, she's a little wet. I'm This little grab's hilarious. He's coming walking up. As soon as I turn around, he comes closer. And then he takes off again when I'm looking. <laughs> this doesn't matter where you go, there's always a bit of plastic lying around. Even somewhere like this, where there is nothing. The wind was very unpredictable and pretty much was always guaranteed to rise above what the prediction was. And uh, yeah, the wind just definitely proved to be uh, something that I wasn't quite equipped to deal with. But uh, we still did it and we pushed through and it's surprising what the little boat could handle, but um, it definitely uh, kept you on your toes and made filming very, very difficult. And at some point I just decided that Maybe it was just getting so hard to fish and so hard to do a decent job filming that I decided maybe it was just time to stop so, so much worrying about the filming and just start enjoying some of the amazing places I was going. In the end, this trip turned out to be one of those trips that you just, at the end of the day, you just have to laugh about how many things can go wrong, how many rods can get tangled, how many pieces on the boat can break, how many cameras can leak. <laughs> it was one of the, uh, one hell of a trip, and uh, towards the end, it definitely did great on me a little bit. 
but um, at the end of the day, the more I reflect on it, I'm uh, really excited about some of the places I went, and I can't wait uh, to fish them, with, you know, with a new craft and get out there and actually revisit a lot of places and see if I can uh, basically do what I couldn't do in the comp. Maybe pick some better weather days as well, but I'm raring to go and get out there again. I think I might have given myself a bit too much of a handicap here. <laughs> I'm going to have to hightail it in. It's getting terrible. I might start the sand cage. 